Peace, peace to the family, peace to the family. As Rashad say, peace to the gods and goddesses out there, man. I say. Oh, man, we got a show for you tonight, family. We got a show. The worlds have collided tonight. My world, this, this God's world, and we are combining our cosmic forces to bring you the most potent information out there. If you are a follower of this channel and you tune into this channel, you have heard me shout this brother out several times and say, I want to get the brother on my channel. So uh, it's a pleasure to finally have the brother on my channel. Uh, I want you to tell your friends, your family that we are live. I'm going to get to some ads real quick from some brilliant black businesses, and we're going to be right back. But tell everybody we live. Make sure you hit that like button so that, you know, the algorithm gets popping. Everybody know we're on here. But we'll be right back in one second, family. In one second. Mm -hmm. Hey there. Had a bad dream? I have dreams too. Some parts are scary, and some parts are fun. Always remind yourself. It's only a dream, and everything will be okay. I had a dream about being in a forest too. Check it out. My pet PD was with me. Order your copy of Kayla PD and the Forest on Amazon today. Hey family, this is King Simon. Don't forget about getting your new motivation session at 347-496-1022. And don't forget about the Cosmic Alignment Workshop on May the 15th. Go to zenbar.org. That's zenbar.org. Also, family, make sure you tap in May 21st for the Wayne Chandler workshop. This brother's a master at Qigong, and that's not an understatement. This brother's a master at that. He's the author of the best-selling book, Ancient Future, that deals with the hermetic principles of the universe. Go to waynechandler.eventbrite.com for more information, family, all right? And with that being said, fam, what's going on? How y'all doing in the chat? Make sure y'all hit that like button, like I said. Wuah Moon, I see you, brother, brother. I ain't seen you in a while. What's up, Wuah Moon? It's a long-time supporter. What's up, Wuah Moon? I ain't seen you in a while. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Before we get started with the conversation, the God has to do. He has to set the energy right. Um, so, Richard Moore, first of all, my brother, welcome to my platform. Thank you for agreeing to come on to the platform. And uh, without further ado, God, set it off right and set the energy and the frequency right, my brother, before we get started. First, let me say I appreciate you, God, for bringing me on your platform. I have nothing but um, respect for what you are doing for the planet, which is sharing the information and the messages that the ancestors are, are sending to us all. So I just want to say, first of all, I want to thank you. You know, I appreciate your platform, everybody here this evening. But before we get started, you know, like I was telling God backstage, I said, hey, I know this platform, um, but if it's okay with you, you don't matter if I set the, the correct vibratory frequency. You know, God behind me, I'd be like, yeah, God, do, do what you do. I know you watch a lot of the uh, information on, on your, in the university. So um, for those of you who don't know me, what I always do before I give any messages because I channel energy, I really don't like to use other media other than the ancestors because we are gods and goddesses so all answers that we are seeking for lie within ourselves um but sound healing is a big thing so um, we're actually going to seven chakra plans um, on my website right now and we actually on the brow chakra so this this particular sound bowl will help to stimulate the third eye and because i don't want us to just you know discuss esoteric information metaphysics quantum physics molecular biology the different topics that we'll be going over um this evening without us being on the same vibratory frequency it's imperative that we get there so what i'm gonna do is uh we're gonna be doing three sets of four so what's three sets of four okay um, we are energy. Everything around you is energy. All right. So everything is vibration. Nothing ever is still. Everything is always becoming. Um, I like how God mentioned the hermetic teachings when he was just running the ad. Because if you go study the hermetic teachings, it teaches you one of the main principles of polarity, rhythm, vibration, etc. Understanding your universe. So you have north, east, south, west. We were told that these are, are just um, <clears throat> actual directions on the planet. When in actuality, these, these are interdimensional realms within this realm of Atlantis that we live on which we have been told to believe is America, right? Or the world, when you think of a world map. So we always want to send energy in a, in a correct frequency that north, east, south, west, and the beings that exist in those certain parts of the realm. We also like to send a vibration to the, the elements, water, fire, earth, air, because each phalange, each finger aligns with a particular element. These are things they don't teach us in school because being carbonated beings, not if the beings, we are connected to everything around us. So before we roll the down, we'll always have to send the energy to, the, to those elements because the elements have as much life as, as you and I. And then the last set always go, um, to the four phases of matter, all right? Matter makes up what you consider your physical reality. And the slowest form of, of matter is what we call solids, which is how you and I appear. So you have solids, and then if the next vibration that's a little faster than solids will be liquids, and the next vibration that's a little faster than liquids will be gas, which is the spirit realms, and the next vibration that's a little faster than the gas realm will be plasma energy realms, and on and on. So plasma energy is the highest um, form of energy in this physical state of matter. So we always send a vibration to those three. So that's what we're going to do right now, all right? So we'll start first. With north. East. West. South. Now for the directions, all right? Now for actually not the directions, we did north, east, south, and west. So now for the elements, starting with the most powerful element that was created first, which would be water. Fire. Air. Last but not least, when. Mm -hmm. 
Solids. Liquids. Gas. Plasma energy. Shay, I say, I say. Um, that, that third eye, that's that, that's that sound bowl. Sound, sound healing is a real thing. Let me see a lot of break. Sound healing is a real thing. God, I appreciate you clearing the room for a second so that we can all get on the right vibratory frequency. Sound healing is a big thing that needs to be discussed more within the community. Definitely, when we're talking about metaphysics. Mm. How you feeling, though? God, talk to me. Indeed, man. Listen, I'm feeling absolutely great, my brother. I think um, the time that we are in it has boosted my morale and my mood, despite everything we see going on around us internally. I feel great. And sometimes my ego say, nigga, you see what's going around? Why? What you doing feeling that good, nigga? And I'm like, nah, because I feel good. That's why I feel, you know what I'm saying? It don't, it don't matter what's going on outside. I got this inner feeling inside, and I know what that's about. The topic, my brother, um, I named the show tonight Serious Mysteries. I love what you talk about. I love what you present to our community. It's been so long that our community, the melanated community, could not have conversations like this because we felt like we had to focus on the white man, white supremacy. And I understand that. I totally get it. But several teachers, Dr. York, Elijah Muhammad, Dr. Delby Blair, Bobby Hammond, uh, uh, Dr. Phil, uh, Dr. Phil Valentine, decided to still talk about extraterrestrials, metaphysics, the cosmos. And because of those brothers, me and you are here today to I continue that legacy. And I'm thankful for those brothers who came before us. One thing I want to what I want to say to start the show with my brother is that in the melanated community, I hear so much about the serious and I've heard you mention things I've never heard about Sirius, Sirius X. I heard about Sirius A, B, and C, but you mentioned Sirius X. Now, I used to I used to be subscribed to Gaia because I get information from everywhere when it comes to metaphysics. And on Gaia, a lot of the other cultures, they always talk about the Palladians. So you got one culture that always talks about Palladians. Then when I come within our culture, the teachers in our cultures always talk about Sirius. So I'm like, well, damn, why they don't mention Sirius and why we don't talk about the Palladians? So right. we'll talk about that. But pretty much, let's, let's start out with that. Why is it that, you know... I'm always hearing about Sirius, and when I go over there to get information, I'm always hearing about the Palladians. And you can say, who is the Syrians and who is the Palladians? You know, getting, you're getting all of that, my brother. Um, well, the truth, truth be told, I mean, when it comes to the cosmic history of, of your so-called Black and Latino people, mm -hmm. um, that has been more than hidden from us, right? It was a documentary that came out years ago called Hidden Colors. I believe it came out maybe five or six versions of it, but it, it was a, it's a great documentary for anybody that's on their journey to start with. I would recommend checking it out. Because it, it opened your mind up to a lot of a lot of things that's beyond what we've been taught, you know, via social engineering. Mm -hmm. But when you when you're looking at Gaia, you know, like I always said on my on my platform, all right. When you're looking at Gaia, all that is is all that is is these these oppressors, right? Mm -hmm. You could call them deep state, the 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 cabal, whatever 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 the hell you want to call, them, all mm -hmm. right. But at the end of the day, these are the oppressors, and they have hidden all our valuable esoteric information from us. Mm. And they come out with these little series like Gaia or the X-Files or these cartoons, right? Or these movies, the uh, Star Wars, Star Trek, right? Guardians of the Galaxy and on and on. Documenting all of our history, right? And when you when you come over to what's us, your so-called black and Latino people, we have been hit with Jesus. So it's hard for us to get past religion. Mm. And for those of us that do get past religion, the farthest we might get is going back to the Dogon, which is the African tribe that kind of spoke about the Nomos, mm -hmm. which are beings that come out of the Sirius star system. Mm -hmm. But because we are so powerful, we can never know 
who we are. And it is not really knowing, it's remembering. Because you come here as a soul and a spirit. You sign a soul contract. So there's no such thing as birth, for example. We are cosmic beings. Mm. So I, I like to teach our cosmic history. You never, you can never die because you was never born. If you are a nine, you can be in with carbon, with a carbon, what they like to call pigmentation. All right. I just, I just spoke about this because this, this all ties into Pleiadians and why we don't hear about it. I just spoke about this in a lecture I did on my website called Neuromelanin maybe two nights ago. And I was discussing the difference between neuro, between neuromelanin and melanin. See, the oppressor, he, he's very tricky. He's very tricky. Remember now, who, who is the oppressor? Satan. But Satan has a million names. His, his, his cosmic name is Zeus. But he's hidden behind Satan in religion. He's also Jesus in religion. Because mm. if you understand that Satan's cosmic name is Zeus, then you can understand who Jesus is in the Bible. Because what's who who conquered who conquered the known world that they teach you in their American history book? The Spaniards did that. So when you say the Jesus name in Spanish, you get Jesus, Jesus, right? Hey, mm. hey, Jesus, mm. right? No different than with the story of Yakub, Prometheus, mm. Enki and Enlil in the Sumerian text, Odin in Norse mythology. Satan, Zeus has hit me has so many different names all throughout history. So when we when we when we're talking about the cosmic version of ourselves, many of us had those memories bleached away from our soul via nanobot technology when we entered this realm. We entered this realm to a portal called the, the womb or the vagina. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we but we come from the cosmos. A lot of people forget to ask themselves, where were you before you were here? Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying, God? Mm -hmm. You were here, but where were you before you was here in this lifetime? Mm -hmm. This ain't your first lifetime. This isn't your first experience. You are spirit and soul. You descended down into this realm from higher forms of energy. So you had to descend down to, mm -hmm. to the lowest vibration to even manifest into this physical realm, which we call a physical body. Right, right. Okay. Now, when she manifests in this realm, you manifest through the vagina. This is why a lot of people be believing that you, you're, we're taught in school because they got to think we're all one human race, right? That's what the oppressors did to us. We're all one human race. So you're, you're taught in school that for nine months, the mom is pregnant with this baby. But for those nine months, it's nothing but a vessel inside of her womb. The spirit and soul doesn't enter the womb to the, mo the moment before wo the water breaks. Once the spirit and soul enters the actual vessel that the mother has been housing with her avatar, her body, then her water breaks and out comes this baby. So it's the fact that we have been cut off from that cosmic version of who we are, the essence of us, when source created us. And that part of us, we have in our DNA, which we don't even have DNA because we are nine inter beings with neuromelanin. We have DEA, which is deoxyethyric acid. And you can't even look it up, you can't even Google it because if you Google DEA, they go tell you drug enforcement agency. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? They got all these gates and loopholes there for you if you ever even begin to peek, peek just a little bit into the metaphysical you. Mm -hmm. So you're not gonna hear too, too many black scholars or intellects or that information being taught when we speak about the draconians, the alpha draconian reptilians or the di many different reptilian races. Or the Pleiadians, which is one of the many different extraterrestrial races. You're not going to mm. hear too much about that. You're not mm. going to hear too much about the Blue Avians, the Syrians, mm. the Bazoufians, who, who are any beings that come from Sirius B. You see what I'm saying? The Aurelians, Sirius A stands for Aurelius. A lot of people don't and don't know that. Mm. Mm. Right? Okay. The okay. beings that exist on Sirius A would be the Aurelians. Mm -hmm. All right. This is where a lot of your archangels exist. Mm. They're quoted for a lot of your archangels and many other beings. Mm. When you get to Sirius B, you're dealing with the Nomos. And other and other variants of angelic beings. Right. Okay. Because Sirius B, them, them the Bazoofians. Mm -hmm. So the Nomos and any archangel coming from that that location will be considered a Bazoofian. No mm -hmm. different than over here in this country, how they call us African Americans and Latinos, but everybody would still be considered Americans, right? They get that whole strat. They get that whole breakdown from the cosmos, as above, so below. So when you see them having the police, we have that in the cosmos. We have police in the cosmos, but they're righteous. We have like they have court down here. Court. We have court in the cosmos, but it, it's mm -hmm. a righteous court. You know, it's literally as above, so below, for real. So when you're dealing with Sirius C, you're talking about that's, that's Kronos and the Kronophians, any beings that exist on Sirius C. This is where a lot of your Pleiadians were first created, Pleiadians, reptilians. Most of these beings all originate from Sirius C, B, or A. Now, Sirius X was the, was, it's the essence, that's the, that's the source. That's where the black woman, who is God, was created at. She created herself. She manifested herself out of dark matter energy. So at a metaphysical level, this dark matter energy is, is dark matter energy, right? But as mm -hmm. it breaks down to the plasma levels, it becomes neuromelanin. As it descends from the plasma level down to the gas, to the liquid level, to the physical state, which is a solid, which is the slowest vibration, then this neuromelanin then begins to manifest as carbon, mm. which is why we are carbonated beings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's so, when you talked about the phases of matter earlier, when you talked exactly. about the, the okay. Exactly. Okay. That's, right. that's, that's important, God, because... Yeah. You have to understand, we, we believe we are we are physical beings because it's what we see. Not realizing that you are only 
attached to this physical realm through your five senses. Mm. Take away your sound, close your eyes, touch, smell, taste. Where would you be? Mm -hmm. You would be in the center of the universe, which is where you really are the whole entire time. When you come here, this is an experience. Mm -hmm. This is an experience. This is why it's called light cold lockdown. Because they have figured out a way to manipulate our energy. Remember, what are we? We are not these. We got to get past this skin. We got to stop calling ourselves black people. You're not, we're not black. Mm -hmm. We're not no African-Americans. We're not no niggas. We're not no pimps, hoes, thugs. We're not black people. We are Anunnaki gods and goddesses. Mm. that's the name of our species and why are we that because we were we the we are the center of creation if you want to call her the black woman you can call her that but she manifested herself out of dark matter energy and after she created herself out of dark matter energy because what is dark matter energy let's let's break down what dark matter energy is first mm. Mm. dark matter energy is what science fear they call it antimatter. Mm. okay what is matter matter is everything around you that you can see in this physical these are mm. all forms of matter right this is what science teaches us mm. So what is antimatter? Anything that defies the laws of matter. Dark matter energy is so strong and it's so intelligent, it defies the laws of what they consider matter, which is why they call it antimatter and the most dangerous property in the multiverse. Mm -hmm. The movie Venom was all about the neuromelanin or mm -hmm. the dark matter energy or what they call in science antimatter. Now, we we see these pigmentations and we think nothing of them. I'm just black. Oh, I just have a darker pigmentation. No, you have carbon in your skin. You have, and what is carbon? Neuromelanin. What is neuromelanin? Dark matter energy. What is dark mm. matter energy? Dark matter energy is divine feminine energy mixed with divine masculine energy. They came together to make dark matter energy. The divine feminine energy was first. Then out of the divine feminine energy, the divine masculine energy was created. The divine masculine energy is what gives dark matter energy its color. This is what makes it dark because divine masculine energy is aggressive. Feminine and in its fem feminine energy is so the way they teach us that feminine energy should be receptive and that masculine energy gives the directions. But in the balance of the cosmos, it's the opposite. The feminine energy gives the orders. Mm. The masculine energy enforces it. Mm. Okay. So when you got divine feminine energy meets divine masculine energy, together they met, they met to create this dark matter energy. This is why it's so intelligent. Mm. It's, a, it's an intelligence. And they kind of mimic that when they're showing you the Venom movie and the suit having its intelligence before it latched on to Spider-Man, right? Mm. Right. It had its own form of intelligence. All right. Now, out of that dark matter energy, this is where you get your first black woman slash what we call latino woman because the black and latino woman is the same individual the oppressor gave us different names to divide us from each other but if you still look at the genetics of a latino woman latino man with a black so-called black man or black woman you're gonna see the same genetics same carbon same connection mm -hmm. nine beings. so she she created what out of that dark matter energy you get this divine black goddess if you want to call her that the first anunnaki goddess who had who holds what they call the eve gene Right mm -hmm. or or the meta gene, right? Because they consider us to be meta humans. This is why mm -hmm. Facebook renamed itself from Facebook to Meta, mm -hmm. right? Because the frequency rising, the planet coming back to the original Aboriginal beings, which is us, your so-called mm -hmm. Black and Latino people. Mm -hmm. So now, this intelligent energy, you having the X and Y chromosome created more. She replicated herself. So in the beginning, it was a tribe. We were just on Sirius X. It was no divine Black males and any of that. No gods yet. It was just all goddesses. Just all goddesses. On Sirius X. On Sirius X. X stands for Xylanthia. This is where we from. We was on Sirius X. It was no Sirius A, B, C, no Earth, no nothing yet. In the beginning, it was just dark matter energy. There was no Saturn, no Mars, no nothing. The planets, I'm, no I'm universe. Taking back, I'm, taking, I'm taking you back. Pri pri primordial. Primordial energies. Mm -hmm. Before there was time. Because mm -hmm. see, our souls remember this. It's just when we when we talk on these frequencies, that's what these bowls is for. They don't want us having those. That unlocks your genetics, it's mm -hmm. sound, it's frequency. Mm -hmm. When we talk on this frequency, you, you'll begin to remember, because I'm not saying nothing that you don't know or anybody watching right now. That's why I always say, remember who you are. Because information is being put out here like it's new. It's none of this is new. Mm -hmm. You know, and then you have beings like myself, they might want to show me a lot of love or show you a lot of love or certain other intellectuals, people look at us like, oh, we're, we're their God or because we are bringing information down to help you remember. But no, we're, we're not your God. This information is being put in front of you for you to remember who you are. You don't need a book. You don't need anything. Everything is right here. You go within yourself in meditation. All answers lie within. These are memories. So books and lectures from myself and you and others are only going to help a, a soul stimulate those memories, unlock, unthaw those genetics, right? We've been frozen, lying dormant, mm. right? Mm. So we got to remember in the beginning how it was. And it was just that point. When it was just all goddesses. And then she said, hey, let me create a helper that's when she created the, the, the your black god your first anunnaki god 
and told him to be fruitful and multiply. And that was the God's, that's our job to provide and protect, to be fruitful and multiply. This is why we have semen, which are the seeds. When we do manifest into the physical, we come down with these seeds to further populate. And when we in the cosmos in our cosmic bodies, you know, because we ain't number energy, luminous beings, mm -hmm. right? Well, even when we in that state, we're we're seeding the the cosmos. We were the ones that built the planets, that built the universes, that aligned the multiverse, that enumerated how many planets should be in this galaxy, how many galaxies should be in this universe, how many vortexes it should be, how many dimensions it should be. St opening up stargates, right? We were seeding the cosmos. So, in seeding the cosmos, once you get this whole village of us. The Anunnaki, then we begin to create other beings. This is where your alpha draconian reptilians come from, the other reptilian species, and your Pleiadians, and your Blue Avians, and your Syrians, and your Lyrans, and your Nomos, and your Nagas, and on and on and on and on and on, right? Even your primordial energies, even the gods like Ra and Isis, Osiris, these are all real gods that still exist. You have people that think that Sango is Thor, right? I've heard that before, like people like Thor, Sango, because you, you, you see it, certain gods in different, if you want to call them religions or ideologies and cultures, having the same traits. But with, that's only there to put there to show you that we are all connected. So if your ability is to tap into the plasma energy on a different level than me, but my wife ability, she might have the same plasma energy ability you have, y'all might have the same traits because that's the galactic tribe you come from. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Indeed, indeed. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> this is this is why you don't hear, because we, we got here how? We got here because you said, hey, you asked one question, right? That one question is going to take us on a two-hour journey because that's how deep it gets. Mm -hmm. You know, like, when we're talking about the Pleiadians, we got to first realize the Pleiadians, who are the Pleiadians? They are the pirates of the cosmos. So are the Alpha Draconian reptilians. But you said the pirates? They're the pirates of the cosmos. Mm. Oh, wow. what they do is they go planet to planet, galaxy to galaxy, draining planets of its resources. Mm. Wow. When they first came to this planet, the, the Pleiadians, along with the Alpha Draconian reptilians, notice I'm saying the Alpha Draconian reptilians because there are many different reptilian extraterrestrial races. And the Alpha Draconians are the ones that so happen to be here that's in cahoots with the Pleiadians and the hierarchy of human beings running our realm down here on planet Ka. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So mm. we gotta, we have to. That's why I said we have to. This is why they they don't talk about this in school. Or you you go listen to Gaia and Gaia, she gonna give you some. They gonna give you some gems because they stole all our shit anyway. Mm. They just reciting our shit anyway. So mm -hmm. they gonna give you a little gem, but then they gonna show you white faces. They gonna they gonna water it down like they already mm. shown the, the Anunnaki is white people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They gonna they they gonna they gonna show you that just like when they showed you the pyramids, they always said the aliens invented them, right? But it, 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 then now they want to tell you that. Uh, the Pentagon want to reveal that UFOs are real. So it's like, it's not like this cosmic information isn't already known. All you have to do is look at all the movies. Where, where do they get the ideas from? Human beings, and, I, and I'm not racist. I, I, I only talk genetics and science, esoteric science right now. Human beings don't have a soul. They are soulless beings. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you got to remember how they got here. After the black woman manifested herself out of dark matter energy, and then she created us and told us to provide and protect, we had to provide life force and creation, so we went out to create but the first, the original, the first gods ever that, that the black goddess created was the original 23 scientists. Mm. It was the first, you had 99 goddesses in total that were created. When you, when you go back home on Xylanthia and the cosmic level, you have a council of nine. These are, these are like nine eternal flames, but they are goddesses. They, but they didn't manifest. They didn't take on a the shape. These are the oldest primordial energies in the multiverse. This is the council of nine. This is source. This is the source that gave us all our soul contracts and our missions. This is source. Right, it's a committee. Now that breaks down to the to the Ananuki goddesses, right? And then you got the Ananuki gods. But before you even got that the tribe of us as gods, you had just twenty three gods at first. This was twenty three scientists, and they were created. Their job was to create the entire multiverse. So this is why I've always taught on my platform when I get to speaking about the true number of the of the of creation. I say, hey, it's 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 multiple multiverses. Mm. But let's start with the one we're in. We are in one multiverse right now. Mm. This multiverse is composed of nine universes. Each universe is composed of 999 galaxies. Mm. Each galaxy is composed of 999 planets. Each planet is composed of nine realms within it. So the reason I'm able to retain that information is because I, I'm one of the original 23 scientists and I came back and reincarnated in this life. Just like before I was in this lifetime, my last lifetime on this planet was Tucson El Obertor in the Haitian Revolution. Mm. So because we are in Endgame, you have all these Indigo children here that start coming in 1950. These are your ancient souls. So that includes you. This is every god and goddess born after 1950 on up to now is an indigo child. Your indigo child are your souls that was here when the original war first started on this planet, when the planet was invaded. Because after the original 23 science was created and we went to erect the multiverse and set out and create the universes and things like that, then we begin to create more gods and goddesses. Then we begin to breathe life force into these different realities. So that they can continue to create and be fruitful and multiply because this is what the black goddess told us to do as gods. 
Mm -hmm. We was all at peace at this point. When we came to this planet, this was the last planet we created. This was the very last planet. Planet so called mm -hmm. Earth is located. We're in the ninth. A lot of us don't even know where we at right now because mm -hmm. they didn't lie on all the maps. Right now, you're located in the ninth universe. Mm -hmm. We're in the ninth universe. The number nine keeps popping up. Exactly. <laughs> Always see nine because nine, even in numeral, on numerals, math and in basic math they teach you in schools. That's not real math. But the number doesn't go any higher than nine. After nine, you get to ten. Ten is one and zero all over again. Mm -hmm. But you should ask yourself, why is nine the highest number? Why is nine representing completion? What did mm -hmm. Tesla say? He who understands the, the power of the three to six and the nine understands the secrets of the, of, of the universe, right? Mm -hmm. And Tesla got that from us. Mm -hmm. That 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 was true. That's why they did what they did to Tesla, his own people, when they seen what he was trying to get, what he was touching into. So you're gonna realize that yes, it goes no higher than nine, and you're gonna see nine in everything we do, because mm -hmm. we are nine ether beings. You're gonna see that even down to the follicles, even down to your ether, even your, your DEA series. We have nine DEA nine. series. Yeah, yeah, we do. Right? Mm -hmm. They have six. It takes us nine ethers to get here. There's no such thing as time and space. I always tell the people, people, time was a spell created by Zeus, by the oppressors. Who was that? Oh, there's only one oppressor here on this planet. It's not nobody else, black or Latino. And then it's not even the regular white people that go to work. They just, a lot of them is clones and pawns, Mach 5 synthetic robots, or just being put there, being used for us to crash out on. The individuals that's running the planet is the original 13 families. Those are, those are the human beings. And they are in cahoots with the Dracon Alpha Draconian Reptilians and the Pleiades. These two come together to form your shadow government, your cabal, your Illuminati. This who running the world, your royal family. You know what I'm saying? This is who running this 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 part of what we consider to be the world. This is who gave us the maps telling us that, hey, this is only the world. It's seven continents. When this world is, this is not our world. This world is composed of nine other realms. We are on Atlantis right now. But they got motherfuckers thinking we on Earth. Mm. We on Atlantis right now. Niggas up, man. We on Earth, y'all. You see what I'm saying? People, we on Earth. We human, y'all. We not human. See what I'm saying? We are gods and goddesses. That's not just a saying. That's that's a that's a genetic thing. Mm. We are carbonated beings, and carbon is the basis from which all life in this physical world forms from. We are mm. connected to the plants. We give life to the sun. Mm. We created the crystals. We used to have huge crystal towers that graced our entire realm. We had mm. giant trees. Now they call them mountains. We never had mountains. All the trees that they cut down, and now they're teaching you they mountains. You know what I'm saying? Those mm. are when you look at these, they're not even our trees. Those are 30 millimeter bushes. <laughs> but you they taught you them was trees. Just like them are not stars in the sky. You're looking at universes and planets. But they told you they were stars because they knew they couldn't hide it from you. So they renamed things. This is why the English language is a spell that they cast over us on every level. All mm. the words. You calling yourself an American, but that's a white person. You can't say you're African American because now that's two white people. Scipio Africanus was a European. Whatever fucking name, European, whatever you want to call him, he's a Caucasian. That means he's a humanoid. He's human. That's okay. But he's a six ether being. It takes him six ethers to get here. And he doesn't have a soul. You are a nine ether being. You are carbonated. You give life to life. You are mm -hmm. the basis from which all life in this physical density forms, as well as in the cosmic realms. Mm -hmm. It's a difference, right? Mm -hmm. the, sun, the sun feeds off your frequency. The sun kills them. Cause they don't belong here. They're not supposed to be here. They are visitors here. I heard you say before, we don't need the sun. The sun needs us. That's a bold statement, there, brother. That's a fact. <laughs> because we we was taught to worship the sun. Like the sun gives us light. The sun gives everything down here life. But you like, we don't need the sun. The sun. You said it with such an enthusiasm and such vigor. I'm like, damn, this brother's serious about that statement. <laughs> Explain that. How the sun need us? We don't need the sun, my brother. Okay, so let's 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 remember what what came first. Do you think? The original aboriginal goddess slash god came first or do you think the sun and the moon came first before there was a sun and there was a moon that was us mm, mm. who do who do people think it was that put the sun in the sky who you think taught the sun how to shine who mm. you think set the temperature of the sun of how hot of how hard it should be how hot it should shine who you think gave the sun its orbitory path to orbit around like in clockwork fashion around the round? Mm. we did that we do that the sun is nothing but a big chromosome. A big chromosome. One That's big chromosome in the sky, right? Mm. Shout out to Doctor uh, Phil yeah, Bowden, too. One of the one of the yeah one of the most powerful intellects. Him, uh, Doctor Delbert Blair, Bobby Hammond. I mean, all the intellects, right? I like to always give respect to to, to my physical elders because we are all on the same team. But I'm saying that for a reason. When, when Doctor Phil Valentine spoke about the sun and the chromo spirit of the sun, mm. he spoke about this 20, 30 years ago, right? Before mm. it was the internet, right? Mm. And he spoke about how. The chromo, the, the the brightness of the sun that is emitted that makes you be. Damn, I can't see. You. Put the visor down. You looking all like little ugly people. You, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Got yeah, yeah. eyes, 
right? Yeah. That's the chromosphere of the sun that is making you. I can't see with the light. Okay, now that's the chromosphere. You have chromosomes in you. Now, when Dr. Phil Valentine brought that information down to the planet, that's a that's an esoteric fact. Now, I'm just here to further stamp that fact when we're talking about the sun right now. You have to understand you have cells. Each cell has a membrane, a nucleus, right? The nucleus is the power. What does that power come from that's in the cell? That's plasma energy. But how is it how is it getting into your cells? It's coming from the sun. What on your avatar is allowing this channel of frequency to, to, to flow through you? It's your ether, which is why the more ether you grow, the more energy you channel from the sun into certain cells. These chromosomes is inside of us that we control. It's the same chromosome we're looking at when we look at the sun in the sky. So what, the reason they can't let you remember that is because then you would understand it. Hold on. So if, if that chromosome that's that, that, hold on. So you're telling me the sun is a chromosome that's actually inside of me? And we say, yes, that's the chromosome that's inside of you that you created, beautiful reflection. That's your reflection, all right? That's, yeah, that's the sun, right? You are the living God, and that's the son of God, right? What they spoke about in the Bible, right? You are the living God when you manifest into this physical realm. And that sun is the son of you, right? And it's going to just like a child. A child looks up to his parent. A son looks up to his father and his mother. A son loves his mother. It's not nothing a son will do for his mother. And it's not nothing the son will do to, 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 to make his father proud. Now, if you can understand that that son came from you and you created that son, what do you think you can get the son to do for you? Now, the son is full of what? Photon energy. Plasma energy. You are full of what? Photon energy. Plasma energy. When you're in that sun, that sun is actually burning off all toxins that have been put in you through the, through the food that they have given you. Through the programming, they have pushed into your pineal with selenium that they have fired at you through these flat screen TVs and these cell phone monitors. Each one has a chemical behind it called selenium. That's why your phone has the little head. It don't just, it don't just have one, one, one camera lens. You got the camera lens for you. You got the one for the, for the oppressors who's watching us at all times. And you got the one for that selenium. Same thing with your flat screen TVs is in your home. Okay? These are all weapons that are being aimed at you to keep your vibration low because you are the you are the life giver to the sun. When you when they when they told us to praise the sun, you had a sun god named Ra. But if they was ever show you how Ra looked, how you think Ra looked when he was in the physical? Not to mention Ra is still a powerful god. All the gods from Greek mythology still exist. When they left that physical form, they just went back to the cosmos. But you can channel any of them, anybody that's a nine to being. This what makes us dangerous. This is where this come in at. See what I'm saying? This is where this come in at. Mm -hmm. You can channel any of these ancient gods because they're your, your physical and cosmic ancestors. You can get the sun to come out whenever you want it to come out. You can use the sun to do so many different things because you are the life giver of the sun. Mm -hmm. Before, when we was in the beginning, we didn't have a sun or a moon. Who you think created that? Why do you think we created it? When we only created the sun, to use the sun as, and we created multiple suns, and this planet, to be exact, had two suns. Two suns, right. Two suns. What happened to the other one? The, okay, so what happened was, so of course, you know, after the Anunnaki species was created, we then created series A, B, and C, and we created the beings on those, on those galaxies. Then we, we began to create all these planets and universes. So um, when we finally got to this planet, this planet was called Planet Tiamat originally, and Planet Kai. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We was using this planet as a dojo or a spiritual school for ascension. So it was to be a school for spiritual advancement and ascension, which is why to this day, this planet, which is now renamed Earth, this is still a school that many souls and spirits elect to come to. Mm. Because you can reach some of the most um, highest forms and fastest form of spiritual ascension on this planet because of the different, the way they socially engineered the planet, it, uh, it makes a soul and a spirit go through many lessons here. Mm. You'll go through many lessons here, right? Mm. Mm. So. But anciently, this is what this planet was designed to do. And we had built beautiful pyramids. We had beautiful huge trees. We had these giant mushrooms. The entire planet was a forest. So think of like Avatar. It was no buildings. It was no none of that. No railroads, no interstates. Just beautiful forest. And we stood 50, 60, 50, 70, 80, 100 foot tall. That's why they still dig up our bones to this day, God. Like, you see Yeah, it's they giants. Stay, stay digging us up. Yeah. And see, we was beautiful colors of blues and reds and greens because we breathe hydrogen. Even if you look at the links of your DEA or DNA, as they try to rename it, um, but humans and animals have DNA. Gods and goddesses have DEA, all right? But if, even if you look at it, um, you, you, can, you can see, 
like how the planet was in a magical state. Like all the rocks, all of these little rocks, like how you just walk outside, you see little rocks on the ground. Mm. Those used to be a part of, of giant mushrooms. All your crystals come from giant, how I wear a lot of crystals, right? I wear a lot of crystals, right? These come from giant crystal towers that we had that we, we used to use to communicate, but we had these chips in our head right above our, that went around our pineal gland, kind of like vision off um, the, the Avengers. Mm. That's where they get the idea for vision from. And mm. we had these chips around our pineal glands and these chips connected us to these pyramids. We never didn't use alphabets. We didn't use words to speak. We spoke using frequency and vibration. Okay. Okay. So, um, when, when we was in this state, you have to understand like the frequency was higher. So everything was faster. We was, we was vibrating at a much higher rate. And it was at that point that these beings that we now call human beings invaded our planet. When they invaded our planet, they already knew what they was looking for. This is what a movie Star Wars and Star Trek. Star you, Trek. You talking about the Alpha Draconians right now? Yeah, I'm talking about the Alpha Draconians, the Pleiadians, and the human beings. Okay. So the human beings remember the original thirteen families. Who are the original thirteen families? These are the Israelites. This is why, uh, when 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 the gods and goddesses go on their spiritual journey, black people, right? Mm. When they get to the Hebrew, the first thing we stop at is Hebrew Israelite. Like, oh, we, oh, I'm not religious no more, but I just I went deep. I found that I'm a Hebrew Israelite. Mm -hmm. But in the actuality, we are not Hebrew Israelites neither. You know, the Israelites are human beings. Um, Israelites come from the term Israel. What was Israel name before it was Israel? His name was Jacob, right? Mm -hmm. In the Bible, he was Jacob, and then he wrestled with an angel and he became Israel. All right. So that basically mean the angel kicked his ass, right? Because if his name changed to Israel, I mean he couldn't have won the fight. I mean, like, I mean, if you, you get you get to a tussle and you change your whole motherfucking name, I'm gonna feel like you must get your ass. Yeah, yeah, facts, facts. I mean, you, we gotta look, we gotta look past the you know the line. Facts. Okay, facts. so uh -huh. he was Jacob, and Jacob uh -huh. changed his name to Israel after wrestling with an angel. Mm -hmm. All right, so now to show you who the Israelites are, these are Satan's people. What's Jacob's real name back then? It was no James, right? This is why they don't say Jesus. They say remove the J. It was Yah. They say Yahweh, right? Mm. Same thing with Jacob. You remove the J, you get a Y, you get Yakub, mm. right? We know who Yakub was. It's the same Yakub that spoke about in religious who separated the brown from germ from the black germ and created the race of human beings to destroy his people, right? Because J y Yakub is Satan. Satan is Zeus. Zeus is Jesus. Jesus is not the same person. You get what I'm saying? Mm. So... The Hebrew Israelites are the 12 tribes of human beings that was in that cave when they first got here that actually helped the Draconian Reptilians and the Pleiadians invade our planet and hijack this realm from all you current day black and Latino people. Oh, shit. Wow. I so this is why the, you, 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 this is where this is what people got to understand. You got this is who the, is the Hebrew Israelites, the 12 tribes, right? The 12 tribes is the original 13 families. OK, these 13 families still run the world to this day. This is the Rockefellers, the Bill Burgers, right? Uh, or the Trilateral Commission, you know, you know, you get the name of all these people, the Rothschilds, right? Because these are the beings that were, they passed that down from the caves, right? And then the rest of the human beings that wasn't with the bullshit, when they came out the caves, they became the peasants of Europe. They became the peasants. And all the human beings that was in the original 12 tribes that was with the war of, of helping go against the aboriginal beings of this planet, when they came out, they became the, the black nobility and the royals and the pope. And, you know, people got to understand who these beings are aligned with. They are aligned with Satan. Those are Satan's people. So you, we can't be calling ourselves the Hebrew Israelites. So the black nobility was down with Zeus or Satan. Exactly. Black Man, nobility, saying, the what, very what, Illuminati, because the, the Illuminati people? is us. The real Illuminati is us, because Illuminati means enlightenment. So when you're thinking about the Illuminati in the sense of how we think of the Illuminati today, like these evil group of people running the world, that's the Bavarian Illuminati. Mm. Just like the original Masons is us. If you look at your hand, you still got an M right there in your hand. Master Mason. This It's etched in your genetics. You are the original builder of the cosmos. Mm. Got an M in your hand. Might be in both hands if you look in your palms. Mm. But of course, once they hijacked our planet, they stole everything from us. They became the Freemasons, right? And they stopped knowledge at 33 degrees, right? Because three plus three, three times three is nine, and nine ether being is the highest. And their information is limited. We only taught them so much. Like I say, when they came to this planet, they came to this planet through portals in the Caucasus Mountains. So when they entered our realm, this is when they was walking on all fours. This is when they was in Neanderthal form. This is how it was when we seen them. Now the Pleiadians, they look like your modern day human beings anyway. So they was not like that. You know, they was in their suits. So they right. didn't they didn't walk on all fours. The Pleiadians, no, Pleiadians walk upright because the, walk upright. The Pleiadians were already an advanced extraterrestrial race. Got to remember that. Uh -huh. So the human beings were the ones that were primitive because they were created in the petri dish mm -hmm. by Zeus on Nern. Yeah, Nern is a planet with two moons, no sun, so it's always cold. This is why human beings like cold weather. This is where sub zero technology was created at by another group of beings called the Dark Elves. Zeus created many beings. Satan, as you may know him in religion, created many different beings after we kicked him off this planet. Because you have to remember. When, 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 when the original 23 scientists, when everything was erected and we, we, we began to build this planet up, the ancestors sent some of the most finest spiritual assassins, over 144,000 of them to this planet. And they sent 
Zeus, Satan with them because he was the head scientist. Now, a lot of people fail to realize this is what they were talking about in the Bible when they said, hey, Satan was God's most prettiest angel. Mm -hmm. Okay. But they don't tell you the real story of what happened in the war in heaven. The real story is it wasn't no magical heaven. That happened right here on this planet. Uh, Zeus, a.k.a. Satan, was sent down to this planet with 144,000 of us to this planet. And as, it, as you had 144,000 of us, souls and spirits that came here and started building the planet up. So some of us started creating the animals. Some of us started creating different plants and leaves and nutrients and microorganisms. We know we were building the planet up. We created different things. And the war, the war broke out because Zeus... I like to call him by his cosmic name. I don't like to call him Satan because he's a bitch. Now, that's how I talk about him. Like, he's a coward, and he hides mm -hmm. behind those names, and it's power to certain names. Mm -hmm. But if you call him Zeus, you're stripping him of all them hidden identities. Like, we know who you are. You're, you're, our, you're our brother that turned your back on us. Because mm -hmm. people forget. Mm -hmm. They try to cast Satan away from them. You fail to realize Satan is originally one of us. If, if, if he manifests and shows himself in the physical, he's going to like a black person, not a white person. Damn. Right? Because he's our brother that, that, that stepped outside of himself. See, anciently, we never prayed to nothing outside of ourselves. We only praised our pray to ourselves and we praised each other. So when we seen another God or goddess, we say, hey, I love your creation. Or, hey, you, 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 peace, reflection. You, you know, we praised you, gave you a, a good vibration, right? Mm -hmm. Now, think about that. That might sound small, but think about how much, how, how you feel if somebody give you a compliment. It, it can, one compliment, it can make your whole week, right? Mm -hmm. Imagine people just complimenting you everywhere you went. You would be so high just off those compliments. That's the power of praise. That's what true prayer meant. But of course, they they, they manipulated everything and contorted us to just be praying on our knees and closing our eyes and shutting down our metaphysical self and praying to this white God that doesn't exist. So you got to understand like that Zeus, Satan, when he came to this planet, because he was the head scientist, he was cocky. Mm -hmm. He was basically cocky. Like, man, I would do what the fuck I want to do. I'm not, I'm not on headquarters, so y'all can't tell me shit. I'm the highest ranking one on this new planet. I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do. So mm -hmm. what did Zeus slash Satan start doing? He started going to different gods and goddesses and, and, and killing their creations. Okay, so mm -hmm. say you say you created the wolf. He went and killed the wolf, and now he's, he's operating on the wolf trying to work on his creation. And he did that with a couple of different gods and goddesses' creations to the point where, till it got to the point where, like, all the gods and goddesses came together and motherfuckers ain't want him on the planet no more. Mm -hmm. It was like, motherfuckers came together like, look, bro, you got to go before we beat your ass. You ain't mm -hmm. finna keep. You know, I got to break it down in lamest terms. Like, we got to think as above, so below. Like, we got to get out of this mystical mindset. No, as above, so below. You had duality, then you had it now. Ain't nothing new really under this motherfucking sun. It was literally like that. Imagine a science fair. You got a project, you got to work on to create something. I got to create So Here, we all got to create something because we trying to pass this class. Okay, 144,000 of us come down here. We all got a job to do. Like, all right, we got to build this motherfucker up because the ancestors say this is what they want. Mm -hmm. All right? But one of our brothers, he want to, after you done worked hard on your creation, like, he want to slide up, kill your cow slide up kill her giraffe slide yeah, up cut her shrooms down we hold on who doing this you know once we finally came together and realized what was going on just like it would have now both of us came together and huddled about it like hold on bro your shit came up missing too your mm. shit came up i thought it was just me so nobody wanted to come to zeus because he's zeus remember one of god's most prettiest angels so that status he still had of zeus the the head scientist like the, the goddesses created him first mm. he was the first First, uh, yeah. masculine energy ever created yeah this is why he's so powerful this is why zeus satan knows you like the back of his goddamn head he created the genetic designs for for the avatars for this planet mm. so this is why he can he know everything about you, you be trying to figure out why it's so hard to get get saved not my life he know everything he's the already the original the head of the original 23 scientists he's the and architect it, of the of the avatars you say yeah of our of our physical bodies you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah, because yeah. the original 23 scientists you gotta think it was still goddesses and gods, they souls hadn't been even created yet. That, that, and they came after the original 23 scientists. So when mm -hmm. you're dealing with Zeus, Satan, you're dealing with an ancient, ancient soul that played a major part in designing this shit for the goddesses. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You playing with the architect of, of, of life as you know it, and you wonder why the fuck he, he's so good at getting mm -hmm. into you. He's the architect. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He's the head scientist. You know, he got 22 other ones, but he was the... The head. That's how smart he was. That's why in the Yaku story, they try to say they call him the big head scientist. Big head scientist, right. These are all just different names. This is why they tell you in the Bible. This is why you gotta read all this shit. You can't just read the Bible, you can't just read the Quran, you just can't read the Kabbalah. You gotta read all this shit to get the inner and then go within yourself. Right? It's mm -hmm. nothing but him hiding behind all these different names. And this is why they told you in the Bible. His greatest trick was fooling the whole world that he didn't exist. Well, when when I tell people, when I say Zeus, you got people like Zeus. Come on, for Greek mythology, they immediately think I'm crazy. And just right there, you got you. Cause you, 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 if we going off the way they describe, you looking for a, a nigga with a red jumpsuit on, some horse hooves and a trident in the hand with a hoodie on. Mm -hmm. Like I always say, you looking for the nigga on a flaming hot Cheeto bag. <laughs> that, 
No, for real, guys. Let's go. <laughs> you gonna pull it out? You gonna pull it out? <laughs> you gonna pull out? They got. Hey, they got. Niggas. Uh, <laughs> they looking for him. They looking for him. Oh man. They looking for him. You feel me? Oh man. And you, you ain't gonna never see him looking for him. Oh you feel shit. Me? He gonna look just like me and you because he's a carbonated being. He's a neuromelanated being. So if he does manifest down into the physical, he has to have carbon, right? Oh, so, like, this is the true heaven hell story, right? Like, we on the planet and it's all over. It's this beef starting to build because he cocky like man. Nigga, I'm head science. Y'all can't tell me shit. Mm -hmm. And you know we like nigga. What you mean? We can't tell you shit. You ain't never finna do what you just want to do. So it's already arguing going on. It's already going on. What happens is. Because we going back and forth, we had never done it amongst each other, so that we starting to emit negative or low frequency. Immediately back home on Xylanthia, they can peep that frequency, so they they channel everybody back. They basically bring everybody back to Xylanthia to see what's going on down on Kai. Why is what, what's going on? Why is this, this big disagreement? So you got all these guys and goddesses that we telling our side, like, hey, we feel like he don't need to be down here because he's doing this and that. And then, you know, he's Zeus. He's saying he's the head scientist. He's God's most prettiest angel. So he got that cockiness. He man, you know, when they created me first, I'm, I'm in good with my help. Good all this shit. You ain't gonna, you know, he got that cockiness. He now he, he trying to go around and he said, because the law of the cosmos is that, one, that a soul can create. This is the law. Free will and that you are to create. Right. Mm -hmm. So that was his argument. So it basically turned into like a court situation. And I've always told the same story. And I'd be like, you got people that don't want to believe it. But well, OK, but when we talk about that water happening, heaven and hell. In, in the Bible, they didn't tell you shit. They just said a war broke out in heaven and he took a third. And that's that. They don't give you no details about shit. You don't know what the fuck really happened. You don't even know what the people's about. Like, what was it really about? You know what I'm saying? So it really was about what I'm telling you was about. Like, it was this this back and forth because, see, he was already trying to create the human being race. Mm. And he was trying to use animals. And if you know how the human beings was created, he eventually created them with the animals. So when we in our cosmic court situation, we don't go back and forth. Basically, the elders came to the agreement like, listen, okay, well, Satan, Zeus, you just leave Kai and do and that way you go create and create your own planet and go do your own thing. And then all the gods and goddesses that we sent y'all down to Kai, y'all keep building Kai up. That way everybody happy. Well, so we thought. So everybody's like, okay, cool. We being back down here to play Kai. We good. You know, we, we, we back on our duty. This nigga got a pack of mission leave. He should be good too. So everybody cool. He don't want to go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, he basically don't want to leave. It's like, okay, they told you to leave. You still trying to act like you got a pack and you got to double back and get t-shirts and shit. Get your bitch ass off the planet. Like, that's the energy we was on. So, you know, he ain't on that energy. And long story short, it turns into like a more another argument where you got to go. They told you you had to go. He ain't trying to hear shit. We get to fight. So when we get to fighting, the, I'm breaking it down and laying this term so everybody can grab. Because I can use a bunch of big words and motherfuckers will be lost out there. Now, I want everybody to understand like it was a family feud. We get to beat his ass, stumping all type of teeth out of you. Feel me? <laughs> and other gods and goddesses that was there jumped in the fight. It's literally because you remember, we all won anyway. So even though we felt the way about Zeus and what he was doing, like any community, God, if we all live in a community, I could be doing the most foul shit, but I'm still have that group of people that's going to fuck with me that's going to be like, nah, y'all ain't going to jump on him, though. Mm. Right? Same thing with Zeus. He the head scientist. So, you know, he's super. He got all the clouds they call it today. He's super clouded in the cosmos. So, you know, that was the people that was like, okay, well, this Zeus, you know, this is this, this their favorite type shit. We're going to ride with him. That's how he was so able to get so many to, to, to turn against the gods. Mm. You got to think about that. If they told you even in religion, he took a third with him. You have to think about that. Like, hold on. What type of power he had that he was able to get motherfuckers to go against God? Right? Because if you don't know this cosmic history, you'll know the religious version. So in the religious right. version, God, Jesus is, the, is basically God. And basically, God damn it, they say Satan went against him. He didn't want to bow down to him. He took a third. So you got to tell, you got to really sit like, hold on. He got to be, he got to have some type of clout and power for motherfuckers to go against the creator creator for him. Mm. That's because he made people feel like he was the creator. Remember, the mm. goddesses designed, they, they chose the gods to create everything. So if he does the head of said the head scientist, that's how he looked at among certain people, certain gods and goddesses, even though he wasn't the divine elder, you still got people that was like, okay, we know the elders made him, but shit, he the one that it was his idea to do all this and everything else. So he was able to get so many to turn against us, the essence, which is the, the Ananuki, the Anunnaki, what we stood for, which is peace, positive energy, I was create elevation, unity. We pray to ourselves. We, we about nature. We with nature. Satan, Zeus is against nature. So he did unnatural things. And he like, you know what? I'm going to go against nature. I don't want to pray to myself no more. I want somebody to pray to me. That's what made him create the human being race. He literally uh -huh. created the human being race so that they can praise his ass. Facts. Because he began to get into himself. This is where that but, jealousy energy came from in pride, right? But, but he, Rashad, they, they end up hating people that look like him, though. Yeah, ex exactly. Exactly. You feel me? Yeah. So it's like once he once once that happened, now you got this whole war that broke out right here on this planet. It happened. Yeah. That war happened happened right here on this planet. And when when that happened, 
it was a war, a, a, a true cosmic war. And what happened was they ended up getting their ass whipped off the planet. So when they tell you like, uh, he was cast out, he wasn't cast out of shit. We whipped his ass. Mm. You know what I'm saying? All him and everybody that rode with him all the way to a whole nother universe. Like mm. that's how they end up in the sixth universe. And that's when he created a planet called Nern. And on Nern, he 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 finished doing his experiment, which is to create the human being race. On Nern, that's when he came, he used the dog, the wolf. I mean, he used the wolf, the lemur, the pig, and the snub-nosed monkey to create the human being race in one drop of our blood. That's what he where, used. Where, 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 where are you? This so he created the the human being on planet Nern. Um, where uh uh. uh most of the people watching want to know where are you getting this information because a lot of us have not heard of this level of information before. Right. We, we, you know, we've heard of metaphysical things like this, but a lot of things you are dropping, we have not heard of this before. So where are you getting the bulk of your information? Is it channeled? Is it, is it books? Is it teachers? You know? Every time I come in front of these cameras on the social media platform, I'm always channeling. Like mm -hmm. I channel my information. So I channel this information from within. I bring this information down to this planet from the plasma energy realms, and I bring it down to the physical realm, and I release it because I've learned over 10,000 ancestors within my vessel. So that's just like when you see me standing right here, these are, this is like just a physical replication of some of my spiritual protection and my ancestors that are with me. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like I don't just have this here in this candle burner for no reason, but we don't, we have been lied to about magic. So we don't understand that, but a person that understands magic, and if they understand a little bit of that, then they'll understand what's going on right now or why we got this frequency bulb. Why I hit it a certain amount of times. I hit it nine times to be exact, but nobody probably counted that. I'm using a certain color, but nobody's probably paying attention to that. I'm using certain things I have on certain crystals. I have on a certain number of crystals, but nobody's probably paying attention to that. I have a certain set, a certain color on this wrist that's completely different from this wrist, but nobody's paying attention to that. Mm -hmm. right. So it's, it's, it's metaphysical. You know, it's, a, it's me connecting to self. It's me connecting to this essence of source. And what I always tell people is like, don't even worry about where I'm getting it from. Get the message. And see if it resonates with your soul. If it don't resonate with your soul, then don't 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 listen to it. Don't believe it. Don't believe it just because I'm saying it. You know what I'm saying? But I like I like for people to. We've heard so many different perspectives, right? We've heard and, and and like I always say, you don't know. We don't even know nothing about the shit they taught us about what they told us. And we and we don't even think. I wish we was that more critical, God, of, of what these white crackers told us. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. when they sit there and told us like Jesus walked on water. I ain't never seen one black person say that. I ain't never seen a nigga walk on water. Mm -hmm. Cause you never seen that. When they told us Jesus fed a uh, five thousand with two loaves of bread. Niggas never question like so he fed five thousand motherfuckers with two loaves of bread. But I stay here and be like, hey, you know, but yeah, so they were creating a planet called Nern. A person to be an audience, like he's a fraud, he's lying. And I'm like, well, wh what if I said is more crazy than what they told you in religion? Mm. You see, because because Daniel was in the lion den all night, and when they rolled the rock back, he was still there. Mm -hmm. Niggas been lying, bite him, growl at him with nothing. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Got lying, they snarl at him with nothing. Mm -hmm. so it's like, you know. Like it see, that's why it's called like when the, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Mm -hmm. Like I, what I'm saying, a person shouldn't hear from everybody else because then I'm not a true divinely sent teacher. I should say some things to make you be like, "What the fuck he just say?" Mm -hmm. If I'm not saying that, the why am I in front of you right now? Bobby Hammond, like, Bobby Hammond made me feel like that when I first heard him. I'm like, "Yeah, what the fuck is he talking about?" Like, you gotta feel like that. Talking? That's how you. That's how you know it's it's, it's some real. It's a download. You supposed like what the fuck? Because it's the rabbit hole. So. I mean, for how far you go down a rabbit hole, at certain points going down that hole, you're going to run across some shards, some glass, and rub an elbow and cut your elbow. Oh, shit, what was something just fucked me up? They got mm. this bitch shit out of me. They got mosquitoes down here. You know what I'm saying? Mm. The whole time, that's that, that's that, that's that, that's that's that moment where you be, where you feel like, I got this life thing figured out. But then you hear something else and it take you deeper. You be like, okay, this, it's really another level of information. And it really is. Like I say, I couldn't flow through it like that. And, and those are in my university or somebody that be on my channel. They know they didn't heard this a million times. Or they watch me, they be know they're like, God, don't never have. I don't really have no laptops in front of me. Just like mm -hmm. when I came up when I talked about the Bermuda Triangle, I channeled that information down from the plasma energy range, the quantum energy range. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what did you say about the Bermuda Triangle? What did I you basically say? just was telling them where why planes and everything go missing, and that it's pyramids under the Bermuda Triangle. And, this and, that. and I had never heard that before. Anything, God, no lie. And like a month later, like some some people, like some of the guys tagged me in a post, like, like God, I think they were watching your lecture. And CNN was like, scientists have now discovered it's a pyramid under the Bermuda Triangle. And I'm like, look at them. Y'all ain't never said it all these years. Y'all been saying shit. We don't know why. We don't know what the hell going on. All we know is boats and planes go through there and they don't come back. Mm -hmm. I'm just a, a supposed to be a crazy YouTuber. So when I put the lecture up, it should just be a crazy YouTube lecture. It shouldn't turn into <laughs> two, three months later. Now scientists have discovered because they do that shit with a lot of lectures that I've been putting out. They do that. They'll, mm -hmm. they'll, they'll come out and be like, oh, we did. We just discovered that. We just discovered that. And I'd be like, ain't no way y'all ain't watching this information. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Ain't no way y'all ain't because y'all y'all should have been said that all these years. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, like with information, like, yeah, like, 
this is our cosmic history. And see, I like to emphasize cosmic though, God, because most of the information that we received on this planet was like primitive. I'm talking about it's this is shit post Adamite. Like when they get to talk about time and space and dinosaurs and and all that shit, that's post Adamite. Mm. So I'm not the person to give you no motherfucking leaf of no information. You got that? It's a whole tree, God. You feel me? Mm. It's a whole tree for those that don't know the information from. It's a whole tree of information. Mm. But when you listen to Rashad Jamal, right? It's the universe of cosmic intelligence. So I'm down here in the soil. I'm giving you the seeds of where this shit started from. Mm. I'm not just giving you the leaf because that leaf is connected to a to a branch. Mm. And that branch is connected to another branch, which is connected to the roots, and the roots is connected to the ground, which is connected to the seed. The seeds are sprouted from. Mm -hmm. So I like to go to the beginning and work my way from the beginning back. So for a lot of individuals, you got to go listen to other people before you even come and hear this shit I'm talking about because you will have no clue. It's not like this ain't some shit you just come in on. You just get on your journey neither. Like you got to already be at a certain level of your journey to understand what we discussing right now in that level. Because if not, you just completely closed off like Nern, planet Nern. What do you say? Two sons. What did he just say? Zeus is saying the same people. It was war. They whipped their ass in another universe. Like that, that have a person like lost but i'm not here to help you find yourself i'm here to enlighten and inform and i'm here to give the information that that, that the planet is ready for right now mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying that's all i'm here to do and that's why a lot of people like i get like a lot of my name be caught up in a lot of controversy because they really be like people that just be upset or they'll get jealous you know people that's trying to teach they'll get jealous and be like how the fuck does he know that too and then they'll you know talk bad about me or they'll go to attack me and then i'll defend myself or somebody can chop the video up and post it and have me looking crazy mm -hmm. you know what I'm but hey it's cool i like looking crazy what, what what do you think about you know you mentioned multiverse several times tonight What's your thoughts on this new Doctor Doctor Strange movie coming out? M Multiverse of Madness. What's your thoughts on that, my brother? I didn't even know they was coming out with a, with a movie. Of it. I, mean, yeah. I don't watch TV like that at all. <laughs> but um, if they call it Multiverse anything, once again, they stole it from us. You know, like like I was said about Nerd. You know, like Zeus created the human beings on planet Nerd. That's in the sixth universe. You know, and he also on that planet he created werewolves. Werewolves are real. He created the ogres. Like Shrek is the ogre. Those are real beings it's on Nerd. You know, what I'm saying he created the human beings. That's why the human beings like the wolf. You know, so if they coming out with a movie called Multiverse, they're only coming out with these movies and these titles based upon the, the same thing we sitting here discussing right now. Well, well when you see Doctor Strange, he be hitting you with the movies. You know, yeah, the movies. What? Well, why does that make sense? Why is that an effective tool in terms of our spirituality? Since you deal with a lot of energy work, why is that so effective? The movies. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I make that public. I'm a practitioner of all forms of all the arts, mm -hmm. ancient voodoo, hoodoo, all forms of the arts, our ancient arts, but. Um, yeah, mujas are powerful. You know, each finger on you connects to an element. You know, but so like I said, yeah, I gave lectures on this already on my website. Your index finger literally lines up. You have five fingers. It's five major elements. You know what I'm saying? You don't just have the number five for a reason. For no reason. Five is the it's the it's the number of magic. Anytime you want to use doing magic, you you have to use the number five. That's why they use five a lot. You know, uh, that's why they say give you a high five. You know, that's why you shouldn't let nobody touch you. You know, because at the end of the day, your index finger is line is controls the first element ever created, which is water. Your mm -hmm. middle finger controls the second element ever created, which is fire. Your third mm -hmm. finger control index finger controls the third element ever created, which which is earth or soil or mm -hmm. planet. Mm -hmm. And your fourth, which your pinky co controls the element of air. And your mm -hmm. thumb controls plasma energy. So this is what mudras is, a line of elements. So if you're doing this mudra, that's water and plasma energy. And your mm -hmm. thoughts, whatever your thoughts are centered with, you're gonna be able to tap into that. You know, so it's like and it go even deeper than that, you know. So what you when you see Doctor Strange doing certain moves, just need to open up certain portals. That's a real thing. You gotta remember, Ashe is potential, it's life force, and it's all around you. Ashe, Prana, Chi, same thing, just different, okay. just different names. So yeah. it's all it's potential energy. It's all around you. This is how they created the light bulb, right? It's energy. It's all around you. Just like right now, you don't feel it, but if you you feel it, right? You, your hands start getting warm. That's all mm -hmm. that Ashe around you. Mm -hmm. That's the force. So in Star Wars, that was metaphysical. Well, may the force be with you. When Yoda used to say that, you know, like when he was teaching Luke how to, you know, it's called a Jedi Knight, Jedi mind tricks. That's a real thing. That's like the real where we at. We are cosmic forces. We are like when Yoda told Luke, luminous beings we are. That's what we are. You know what I'm saying? Yoda represents the Moors. You know, Luke represents the human being because the Moors was the ones to help the human beings because the the the, the Moors was the ones that was assigned to watch over the human beings. When they came out the caves of, of Europe, I mean, uh, when they came out the Caucasus Mountains, they was walking on all fours. We taught them how to stand up right. We started teaching them how to speak. We took the, you know, we took the wooden boards and stood the, the, the white women up straight. That's why they had the flat asses to this day. And so they started doing the ass shots and a little working out. Like, you know, like, oh, that's a, we, we did all that. And the reason they was able to conquer us is because the Moors was having, start having sex with the white women. 
They started having sex with them. So in the Bible, when they get to talk about we sent the watchers to watch over them, they're talking about us. And 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 we talking about how we sent the fucking what moors to watch over them because we was reverse engineering what Zeus had did to them. Because mm. when they came out the Caucasus Mountains, they was walking on all fours, tails and shit, hairy looking like Harry and Henderson's. So we have an open big hearts and big souls. We always been a loving species. We remember what Zeus was trying to do. So when the Pleiadians told us who they were, we were like, oh, so he finally created them. Because remember, he was trying to create them here first. Remember? Mm -hmm. Right. So as we seen that, we're like, oh, okay, cool. And we seen they looked like us still. We like, oh, he made them in our image. Mm -hmm. But when they in the Bible, like, God made man in his image, they talking about Zeus making mankind in his image. Like us, the real Allah, arm, leg, leg, arm, head. Right, mm -hmm. the Muslims call Allah God. Right, arm, mm -hmm. leg, leg, arm, head. That's the mm -hmm. that's the form of a of God and physical manifestation, which is us. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying, God? So at the end of the day, you know, um, you know, all that was taking place, and when they was in the caves, and we started to reverse engineer them. This is why, like to this day, one fourth of human beings still grow their tails. If you Google up Google uh, human beings growing tails, they're gonna tell you one fourth of human beings still grow their tails. You will never see a black or Latino person grow a motherfucking tail a day in your life. We are two different species. So, you know what I'm saying? They human beings, we gods. I'm not saying we gods to, be, to call ourselves the most high. We are the most motherfucking high. So, mm. you know, people just got to wake up and realize that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no fake God ever did shit for you. You can get on your knees right now and pray to Jesus, Yahweh, motherfucking Ben Latin, Buddha, whoever the fuck you want to pray to. You could have never sucked the dick, smoked the blunt, cursed the motherfucker out, cut the lights off, stand in the middle of your living room and pray and make your salats. You can make them five times a day. You can make them ten times a day. You can motherfucking... Pay all the ties you want. I guarantee you the light in your living room ain't going to come the fuck on till you get your ass up and go cut it on. So you got the whole time. People just don't want to accept their reality, that you control your reality. Anything bad happening to you is because you emitted that frequency. You're the creator. You're the judge of your days. That's the true judgment day. Ain't no motherfucking, no, no fake white God and no big ass tall rocking cheer waiting for you to walk up one day like, yeah, we're going to judge everybody. You judge, your, you judge your days every day with the, with the seeds you plant. King, God, goddess, you know what I'm saying? So they don't want you to know that. They want you to wait on the heaven after here so that you don't be creating your shit now. So at the end of the day, like, you know, like these these oppressors was able to trick, they tricked these black gods, which was the Moors, into the enchantment. So when they was watching and they started having sex with these white women after we started doing the reverse engineering and they started pillow talking, they started teaching them our enchantments, our spells, and that's what fucked us up. Once they taught us our enchantments, they taught them the enchantments mm. and the spells and all our magic, they took that and they taught them the access codes to our Makurba. Because you have a Makurba around you, which is the six point star and where it comes from, that's all a part of sacred geometry, but you also have a galactic Makurba that we were using. And we had two sons and they used that Makurba to blow one of our sons out of atmosphere. They couldn't blow it up. But it just pushed it out the atmosphere. So it left us with one sun. And that ushered in nightfall because we had two suns orbiting at all times. So I'm saying Yo, you, the moon in the sky. You know what's crazy, uh, Rashad? Pillow talking. If you watch Knuckles and a lot of the gangster movies, that's how a lot of the dudes fuck up. The gangsters. Yeah. They get with these bro, they get with these women and they start pillow talking. Next thing the women tell the other people what they just told them. Next thing you know, boom, it's over for them. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and no, that no, God, that's why. See, I like to break it down in lamest terms so people can really feel it, God. Like, yeah. like, like I don't I like I say, I believe in it's like a nest. Information once the information is you receive this information, you gotta spread it to everybody in the nest. Everybody in the nest ain't gonna understand if I get to saying parthenogenesis. Right? Like, what the fuck is that? I gotta break down what parthenogenesis means, which is the ability for a species to reproduce without a male counterpart, which is where the lizards get this ability to do that from, from the goddess. Even to this day, a goddess can make a baby without us. But they don't want you knowing that, or me knowing that, right? Because now they gotta explain too much other cosmic shit. You see what I'm saying? So, it's, it's really was pillow talk. Like, in lamest terms, they weren't supposed to be having sex with him in the first place. They got to fall in love with him, liking him, just like they told him in the, told him in the Bible. Liking him, falling in love with him. Next thing you know, now motherfuckers telling secrets, motherfuckers, oh yeah, you know what you want to get. If you want to get here, you you hit that path, you know, you go through that kind of shit. You know, nah, for real, God don't you say <laughs> you feel me? And that shit spun us literally into like 550 oh, years of oppression, nigga. Motherfuckers still yeah. talking. Because they took all our shit and them white women ran right back to the white man in the cave. But this is how you do this shit. And they took the shit, gave it to the Pleiadians, and they they went right to work. They blew the sun out the sky. They motherfuckers, once they figured out our what sun, what sun, what sun they blew out the sky? I'm sorry. What sun they blew out the sky? Okay, that, so we had two suns. The sun yeah. you see now, that's the smaller sun we had. We had one that was way bigger than that. You feel me? And that was the main sun that was responsible for keeping the energy high at the point for us to do certain things we was doing. Like mm. moving at speeds that nobody would believe right now, being able to fly, being able to just do all type of access all type of abilities that's in us being luminous that we couldn't do. Like I say, we didn't have oxygen. Now they they spray oxygen. It's oxygen into the atmosphere and margellants. That's we breathe that oxygen and it rusts us out. So now we appear these copper complexions. 
But without that oxygen, we'd be green and hydrogen. And then we'd be blue, green, red, we'd be other colors. Mm, like Avatar. Like Avatar. Avatar was strictly about us and how the planet looked. Look at how their hair was. Look at how they had their crystals on. You gotta look at what they had on. You know what I'm saying? That they, they was mocking us a little bit. But it's like when they when they attacked them after they pushed that sun out the sky, that that, that caused us to we, we were on the 33rd dimension when they came here. That caused us to drop all the way to like the 18th. So it was an immediate like reaction. A lot of your air dragons, they like went through reverse metamorphosis and they became birds that you see flying in the sky today. Yeah. Oh shit. A lot of you, we, we had dragons back then, but they still fly around. But a lot of them became your, your modern day birds, eagles and hawks and shit. You mm. know, you had we had land dragons and sea dragons, and they became the sharks and shit today that you see. And you snakes. Know, the snakes in you, yeah. Mm. So everything wow. changed when they moved it, when they moved that second our our biggest sun. That's what caused us to fall too, like shrink so quick. Like it was like a like if you watch a cartoon and how it'll be like a magic screen or go. Oh, 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 that's oh. how it was like. Right, right, right. That's okay. literally what it was like. And see, people, that's Damn, hard. Man. That's a hard concept for people it's to grasp. But yeah. they're not realizing that magic. Let's talk about magic, right? What what does magic come from? Magic comes from the fact that this realm is magnetic, right? You have a soul and a spirit. What is the spirit? Electricity. What is the soul? Magnetism. <clears throat> All right? So your soul is a magnet and your spirit is electricity, mm -hmm. right? This is why we have the ability to attract things to us because we are magnetic. Nix, magic, mag, mag is the root word. Mag. So magic is just the science of understanding how to use your magnetism and electricity to manipulate other electricity and things around you because everything has an electrical output to it from the plants to the air to the elements to the animals. So if you can get in tune with your electricity and your magnetism, now you have enough control of your etheric bodies and your aura field, and now you can manipulate certain energies and all do all type of things. So that's what magic comes from, right? So this is why they needed our enchantments and our spells to do what they did because it wasn't just pushing the sun away it was a multi-attack a multi-unit attack on us they also understood through the pillow talking how connected we were to the trees the trees emit some of the most powerful sources of electricity solar electricity directly from the cosmos into our planet that's what trees do mm. they tell you trees pump out oxygen that's a fucking lie trees never pump out oxygen because we never had oxygen on the planet today bitch ass got here mm. right and start spraying when you look at the sky every day you see the planes spraying that spraying oxygen and margellus mm. right so Margellus is the nanobiotechnology that you breathe in that sticks to you, but it's robotoid. So it sticks to your cells and it allows you to be controlled almost in like a clone format and manipulated via electronical output. You know what I'm saying? From like a source. That's what Margellus do. And the, and the oxygen is there to rush you out and it causes you to age. So when they come with the time spell, you believe it because you see yourself age, but you're not aging from time. You age it from the oxygen. So your body's rusting out. You begin to get wrinkled and more wrinkled as you more and more time you spend here. You know what I'm saying? So even the time spell, 24 hours in a day, seven days in a week, but they can't tell you the eighth motherfucking day. And you count this every year, it's magic. It's light magic. See, we have dark magic, they have light magic. They have used light magic to put us under spells. They are using spells in every, every major city that is full of violence, like my hometown Chicago, spells on the, on the land, right? To emit these frequencies, emit these energies. We were just talking about this yesterday, my cousin came over. We was talking about how you can, you can drive from Brookhaven on the north side of Atlanta, and you will feel one energy and drive by the time you get to the west side of Atlanta or the south side of Atlanta, you're gonna feel a totally different frequency in the motherfucking air. Mm -hmm. And that's in any city, right? Why is that? They are really, it's an output. It's an output of energy that they that they putting out there, just like when a dog was you and the dog go crazy. This is what they do to make us feel tired or feel drained. The 5G towers and all that. This is what all this is about, but that's all magic. That's all magic. They only know that because they were studying us from after from the pillow talking. Mm -hmm. So the ancient trees putting out this, this electrical output. If you look at your heartbeat, it's shaped just like the tree in its roots. You got your heart and look at the, the veins in your heart. Now go look at a tree. It's like an upside down tree, mm -hmm. right? So this, the tree, all the energy on the planet is in the roots and the trees in the soil and the actual land. So mm -hmm. that's what the trees did for us. When they got the cut, that's why they had to cut the trees down because that cut our electricity down. So now we wasn't able to access certain abilities that we was using like the gamma radiation, the photon energy, the um, the advanced levels of of, of, of uh, lightning or what they would call like lightning bending, shit you'll see on anime. Like these are abilities that you have in your genetics. But mm -hmm. when they didn't cut your trees down and they, 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 that's like a shortage. You are electricity. Remember mm -hmm. 666, electrons, protons, neutrons, you are electricity. So mm -hmm. everything around us was set up anciently to amplify that electricity. So mm -hmm. what they had to do as they began to take our planet over was the first thing, make us defenseless. They had to cut the Wi-Fi off. Mm -hmm. So they cut the trees down, Push the sun out the atmosphere, usher in the cold into the atmosphere, which was a weapon against us. So, right? so where's that sun now? Where's that sun now that they push out the atmosphere? Oh, so the sun that they push out the atmosphere is still orbiting in what they would like to call in between in between universes. So it's still in orbit in between universes. As it's, as it's, but as this energy rise on this planet, it's being pulled back. So they were speaking about it. Um, 
years back. They, they were trying to call it Planet X and all that, all that little goofy shit. And then they stopped talking about it. And then they started talking about another planet called Nibiru because Nibiru is a planet and a sun and a spaceship in one, too. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. That's, that's the truth about Nibiru. However, that's not the main sun that was on this planet. That sun is coming back into the atmosphere as well. That's why the planet is heating up as mm -hmm. well because that's being pushed back into the atmosphere, that second sun. And then it's also like, because you see Nibiru is in orbit, it's been video servicing where people might show two suns, but that's not the second sun, that, that our ancient second sun. What, we, what people are seeing when they see the two suns, that's planet Nibiru. Because that's a, that's a spaceship, you know what I'm saying, and a sun and a planet. Mm -hmm. and, and, and what about in terms of, um, uh, like when you mentioned earlier about the phases of matter and the four phases of matter, when we leave here, our ancestors, what phase of matter do they go to? So you have two ancestors. You have physical ancestors and you have your uh -huh. cosmic ancestors. Uh -huh. Okay. So your physical ancestors are any is will be any soul and spirit that embody a lifetime on this planet. Mm -hmm. So when you when you descended down into this realm and you entered this through through the portal of your of what will be your mother's womb. Mm -hmm. Your your family that you consider your blood family here would just be that, that's your physical. That would be they have you have physical ancestry through your mom and your dad mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. but you have we are multi dimensional, so you have a many moms and dads because you exist everywhere. Mm -hmm. I know you heard about parallel universes, right? Indeed, indeed. Okay, that's true. You are everywhere because you 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 are everything. Mm -hmm. So you have a life in a body on every planet in every universe in every galaxy. Mm. Okay. When you go to sleep at night, that's the reason you go to sleep because you go mm -hmm. to visit those other bodies and those other lifetimes and those other realities. Mm -hmm. They can't stop you from cosmically traveling, so they had to lie and tell you that you dream every night. Mm -hmm. So then when you come back, not just a dream. So you got to understand that this cosmic form of traveling that we go through connects back to the question you was just asking. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like now, do you really get what I'm saying? I, I want to make sure that mm -hmm. that y'all getting what I'm saying right now, not just you know, because you like I say when you when we dealing with this 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 is an advanced level of you can't even think mm. we talking like this. You gotta feel it, right? Mm. Indeed, okay. Indeed. You gotta feel it because yeah, when yeah. you're trying to think you we now you're through social engineering we have been brainwashed. So you will we will try to you know bring logic to mm. anything, right? Mm. And maybe me you spoke about this. Who mm -hmm. created logic? Let go do me a favor and Google who created the, the idea of logic. God, uh, let me Google that right Google, now. Yeah, I want you to Google it for everybody in the, in, the, in, the, in the class today at the university. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to your, to your university, too, God. Yeah, hold up. Before we answer that question, since we got 2,500 people in the, in the building right now, I want to give a shout out to this brother once again. I want to thank him for coming on the show, and I want to give a shout out to the brothers' university. The brothers dropping a different level of knowledge. And I want everybody to check out his website, www.theuci.online. That's the University of Cosmic Intelligence. And I want all y'all to go there and check out the brother's website. The brothers have special classes that you can't find on YouTube on here. So if you resonate with the brother's information, definitely check out the brother's website. Once again, this is uh, www.theuci.online. Dot com. Is there anything you want to add to that, brother, before we uh, continue to, to this website? You want to tell no, them? No, no, that's, that's cool. They can, they can check it out, or they also can subscribe to uh, my YouTube channel, which is the University of Cosmic Intelligence. Um, and we give lectures on there every Sunday, uh, free to the public as well. So that's about it, though, Forrest. I right, appreciate you, God. Indeed, indeed, man. No, that, that's um, that's powerful. Brother, like, I'm, I'm family. I'm, I'm, well, let me, let me say this before we continue, uh, Rashad. I know that this level of information is real far-fetched to our people one thing since i was young my brother real young five years old i've always had reoccurring dreams of cosmic war always right. by the time i reached about i don't know probably what once i got you know 10 11 you know you start getting interested in girls you forget about everything basketball <laughs> right. you, i left basketball alone i left everything alone yeah right, right. Well, um in my adolescence but before my adolescence when you're just a kid I always had drink re reoccur. I mean, dream after dream after dream after dream of just cosmic war. So when I hear brothers like yourself, Delbert Blair, and others, I don't know to what extent y'all are on point with everything, but I knew, do know that there's truth to what you are teaching. Cause like, there's no reason why I should have had those dreams. I'm talking about for years on end. Where I just wake up and I'm like, 
Well, damn, ain't nobody going. My, my mom, my mom was a, you know, she she was a Christian, but she was in the Farrakhan. But at that time, I thought she wouldn't understand. So I'm like, no need. I'm seeing all types of shit in the sky, and I'm just like, I'm just keeping it within. Right. So when I hear brothers like yourself, I know, I know this shit ain't just all far far fetched. So before we continue, I just want to thank you once again for having the. And I see the trolls in the in the chat. I see y'all and and you know in in the, in the you know in the chat or whatever. But there's a high level. If there's such a high level of information that's in it from us, family, we would be. We might have a heart attack if we really found out who we are. If we find out who we are, we might just have a, a heart attack and pass out and, and die. Because we'd be like, oh, shit, what the, you know, it would just shock and amaze us about everything that's been hidden from us. So I just, I'm, I'm interested, my brother. I uh, thank you. I don't know what was the last question. I think I asked about where the ancestors go. Did you, did you finish elaborating on that? No, I didn't finish. I didn't okay, yeah, so you can finish elaborating because you talk about the phases of matter. Uh, and you talked about the different ancestors. So go ahead, my brother. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no, you're good. You're good. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. As far as like, our ancestors, the physical ancestors, um, you know, they they go from the physical state immediately to the gas state. So when they leave the physical state, they go, they pass through the liquid, that the liquid state up into the gas state. And then when they get to the gas state, that's when, you know, that's what when people say, oh, I saw a spirit or I saw, that's like the gas rims, right? That's like the gas rims when you even can see them because when they reach the plasma energy level, you, you won't even see gas. You won't even see an outline of apparition or anything because it's simply a form of energy vibrating way too fast. So it won't even take on any form and then it just goes up and up. So eventually um, after they pass the, you know, the plasma energy realms, they go off, they go off into the, you know, into the quantum realms and to the etheric realms and on and on up throughout the cosmos. And then from there, it's just about trying to break past the realm because a lot of, a lot of souls get lost in the light. So mm -hmm. like the moon that we see this, that, that, that we see at night on this planet is not real. It's actually a hologram, a uh, hologram image of the real moon. So the moon that's being seen here is literally uses the light to lure souls to it. And when souls go toward the moon, well, you have a group of scientists on the moon um, that works on the, well, this, they have a base. Um, when they speak about the dark side of the moon, that's a real thing because the moon that we see oh, is not real. So what these scientists' job is, they, their job is to, is to capture those souls in these little energy containers. So when they, when they capture the soul, when they the souls in these energy containers, they bring them on board the ship and they bleach the soul of its memories. And then once they bleach the soul of its memories, because the whole, the whole purpose of bringing the souls on, on the ship is to erase the lifetime and just remember mm. because all of that stays with your soul mm. so they what they do is they bring them and they bleach you because you know once you break past the realm they call that death but you really just transcend the realm so when you transcend the realm all your memories rush back to you of what's really real right mm. and you at that perfect place of peace this is the peace that people feel when they say they had these near-death experiences they feel in the release of the energy because you're releasing from the physical state through the liquid and on up so you it's going to be the best feeling because you're going back to your essence like you you heavy down here you got you in a body right you heavy so the release is like you know what I'm saying? That's what he, oh, I see him take his last breath. I see him mm. take her last, but it's the release of energy. So mm. what's happening is you got these scientists and their job is to, to keep certain souls circulating and like back to the planet as opposed to of, of souls breaking through from the cosmos. So what they do is they'll grab as many souls as they can lure into their light, bring them on these little ships and these energy containers, and then they'll bleach the soul of his memories. Once they bleach that soul of his memories, they'll shoot the soul back down to this realm. So when they shoot the soul back down to this realm, the soul comes back to this realm and then it has to find a body so it, it skips the organic process of picking its parents because the organic process is for you mm -hmm. to be at home on xylanthia or whatever your home planet is mm -hmm. and then you know you sign up for your soul contract to come here and once you sign up then you pick your parents and then you have to wait for your parents to meet in this reality and then mm -hmm. they meet and they have they they once they make the once they meet your father passes the seeds or your body to your mom and then that body grows inside of your mom and when, and when that body is ready for you then you you go and descend into that body and then that's called birth. That's really what happens. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So with them understanding the science of us, that's why they put the moon there and they teach you or they use religion to teach you to go into the light because they got you thinking the light is heaven. So they, when they taught you that, they're just preparing you for transcending this realm. It's like the biggest form of, 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 of slavery. Harvest is called soul harvesting because they really harvest the souls with the moon. And, once they bleach you and send you back, now you got to start all over again. And then you're not coming back here organically from the cosmos. You didn't went through the moon base so and got sent back. So it's not the same. You might go into a body or you can go into you can go into a, you can go into an animal, you can go into anything because you're going to need, you just energy. You're going to need a body to go into once you hit this physical realm. So, so, they, so they hacked the computer simulation. Is that what you, would you say that? In a way, you could say they got it because see, this is why people got to come out of religion because, okay, you remember the prayer, it's how, we back to magic. Remember the prayer. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my the key. And if I die before I wake, I pray to my soul. Right? Remember that? Yeah. Oh, that's a spell. All spells rhyme.
And when you sit there saying that, you thinking it's a nursery, that's a spell. Mm. And, and as a child, you just said it every night, probably. Or you taught your child to say that, or you was taught to say that. Mm. So you basically gave your soul to the Lord. Who is the Lord? Satan. Right? Mm. Satan is the Lord. You know what I'm saying? People got to understand that religion is, Satan is, Satan is, he's, Jesus is Satan and Jesus. He's both. So these are spells that you cast over your soul. When you transcend the realm, you're supposed to be light. Light. So that you can, you can shoot back up to the highest form of energy. If you heavy, right, with anything on you, it's going to make it harder for you to transcend the realm. Now, you got this moonlight, and if you've been fed religion, your, your soul been eating religious, religion your whole physical existence, when you transcend this realm, you're going to see that light and think that that's the light to heaven. Mm -hmm. So you're going to float to that light, mm -hmm. not even knowing you're going to go right back to experience the physical experience again. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, it's a lot of souls who didn't live here eight, nine lives because they've been steady going through that moon, that moon camp. Mm, yeah, it's like it's 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 not just an attack on you physically. It's a cosmic attack on you. That's a cosmic thing. Mm. And then you got other souls that break past that they don't go into the light. You know what I'm saying? Then you got the souls that they come, they sign up to come back just to fight. You got the other souls and spirits that don't never take on the physical body, like Orishas and principalities and and primordial energies. These beings are true intelligence, but they never take on a physical body. Who, who's that you got in front of you right now, my brother? Who's that? The, That's Obatala. The, Obatala. Okay. Obatala. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Yep, Obatala, you know, one of the Orishas. But uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, we don't need, we should know that. You know, we should know everything pertaining to our arts. But, like, if it was Jesus right here, we'd know that. Or if you it know was, that. You're right, you're right. You know what I'm saying? It was Muhammad, you know what I'm saying? We'd know, like, oh, that's Muhammad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you oh, right. that's Buddha. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. he meditating in his belly big. They got to be Buddha. <laughs> but, like, yeah, we should know, we should know the black gods too. You know what I'm saying? Because these were, these are the gods that was here before they gods. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we gods. And when you can understand we all gods, then it's like, okay, so I understand why we saying peace, God, and God is in, yeah, like you really a God. So you really the creator of everything you see that you don't see. Ain't no such thing as death. You came here, manifested yourself in, in, in this physical form mm. to be a part of this war right now. Cause we at war right now. It's a real war going on. Like it's been a cosmic war going on forever because ever since the war broke out with our brother Zeus, ever since he turned his back on us, we've been at war with him. It's been a, he split the whole cosmos. So it's been a good verse evil. He didn't just take like, the gods and goddesses on this planet with him. He took angels with him. He took extraterrestrial races with him, like a lot of Arcturians, which is another extraterrestrial race, like a lot of reptilian species and the Pleiadians. These were all good. At one time, we was all together. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So at, when that split took place, what they call that war in heaven, when that split took place, it was a cosmos thing. It was a cosmic split. And what you have today is that war still going on, you know, with over 200 other galaxies involved in this cosmic war. And then now this cosmic war is coming to the surface. So you see it manifesting all around you in the physical now. You know, you, 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 this is why the, the where we at right now, we have to get back to magic. We have to get back to sound bowls. We have to get back to crystal healing and meditating and growing within. You know, we got to get out of, of going into books. Everybody should do what I do. They should be meditating and going within themselves and, 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 and bringing their own, their own, their own truth to reason because this is how the ancestors work. Everything you need to know is in you. You got to trust yourself though to, to bring it out of you though, you know? So, so what's the end game for Zeus? Is Big Mama going to forgive him? And it was just one big family fight. You know what I'm saying? It was just one big family fight and all's forgiven, everything that happened in the cosmos. What, what's the end game for Zeus, you think? It's for Zeus' family. I mean, yeah, but it's fucking up. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. because the way, the way I see it is, although I know that Zeus is our cosmic family, because he's originally one of us who turned on us. Mm -hmm. Um. And even if a person never heard it that way, if they ever believed in religion, they should be able to understand that Zeus or Satan was an angel. So if he was an angel and you're part of that kingdom, y'all from the same kingdom, right? Mm -hmm. So even though we from the same kingdom, Zeus is Zeus. He'll he'll never he'll never stop being who he is. Like that's who he is. Mm -hmm. That's 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 how he made it. That's where he wanted to be. Because mm -hmm. if, if that's the case, the cosmic war could have ended a, 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 energy cycles ago. Because mm -hmm. we don't have time and space, but we got energy cycles. So. Mm -hmm. It could have ended a long time ago, but, you know, Father of Pride, he created that reality. You know, we create our own realities. You know, he created jealousy. He created pride. He created that. And those are realities that, that, he, that, that, he, that, he, that he loves, that he dives in. Even now, we, we're like, with the war being weak, we, where the war is at right now, it's over with for them. He still ain't finna just, he's still fighting all the way to nail all the way, all the way through and through. Mm -hmm. He's not, he not giving up. He's not slowing down. He's not letting up. That's not who he is. You got to remember, Zeus is a, is a god like me and you. So people gotta understand, we are fighting other gods. We not we not fighting no weak people. We're fighting other gods. Satan mm. and them are gods. They still gods. They are fallen gods. Mm. 
the, the, with angels. The angels are, are powerful. As many angels, you got archangels, guardian angels, Cherubim, Seraphim. There's many different angelic beings, right? The angels is a big family too, right? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, the, you got fallen angels, fallen gods that's on his side. And we are powerful ourselves. So that's a big war. You know what I'm saying? That's a that's a big clash right there. Mm -hmm. You know, when people be like, when people that don't that don't understand cosmic history, they be like, well, why would God let Satan keep doing that? It's, it's not that. That's why I say you got to get out of religion and get into the real cosmic history of, of who we are and what we are. This is war been going on for a long time. So it's like when you get, when you understand that the essence of the war is based around him wanting to destroy his own species, and that's what he decided to do. Then it's like, okay, well, I see I, I see everything else. When you're looking at the physical realm, you're looking at a, a, a reality that they hijacked from us. They stole lives from us. You know what I'm saying? They once they got mm -hmm. the enchantments, the spells, they put all that in motion, and you get what you got today. Even us having to wear cloth, this is a spell. Cloth restricts your energy. Plastic, all this shit around you, plastic, glass, all this restricts your energy. The food they give us, the you know, the signs and symbols they teach us, the words they teach us to use, you know, all those are spells and things designed to hurt you and keep you limited. That's why right now when we talk like that, you probably do, because I can't see the comments, but you probably gonna have people because they do it on my shit. People get on my, I'll be talking, people get on there. I don't never focus on that, you know what I'm saying? Because the frequency up here, this ain't, this ain't for everybody, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, the planet coming back to us. It don't matter who the fuck believe that or not. You feel right. me? It's facts. Get a planet. The planet it's comes facts. back to us, God. You know, it, don't, it don't matter who. I, I'm not here to be believed. You know, we're not in the Pisces age no more. The Pisces age is where we just believe shit. I'm here to enlighten and inform. We in the age of Aquarius. This is the age of information and discernment. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'm here to enlighten and inform. You know, I'm not here to make you comfortable. I'm not here to make a motherfucker happy. I'm not here to make a motherfucker believe. I give a fuck what a motherfucker believe. At the end of the day, we gods. This is your cosmic history. This is why you were God. This is how it started. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? This is what we went through. This is how we got to this point. You know, this is why they on Fox 10 News calling me a violent occultist. Nothing is violent or cultist about anything I'm doing. This what, is what they called you? What they called you? They called me a violent occultist. On wow. Fox 10 News. Yeah, yeah, they did. Why they called you that? What happened? But I don't know what happened. All I do is get on YouTube and teach this real cosmic history. That's what happened. And they bitch ass get scared. Because they know, see, with me, they know they know I'm not just no teacher. I'm a warrior, too. Mm. So I'm standing on this. I'll, I'll never go to jail because I'll never, I will never, uh, I will never let these opposition kidnap me. I'm a god. This is my land. This is my ancestors' land. We created y'all. You feel me? So it ain't shit you can tell me. It ain't shit you can tell my people. But you got a lot of our people out here that they'll go to jail. They'll let them pull them over, give them a ticket and everything. You can't ticket me on nothing on my land. So you got to get to that mindset. Like, you ain't ticketing me on my land. And my nigga, I ain't even to keep buying fruit. I ain't even to keep spending money with y'all on, no, on no vegetation or none of this. This shit grow from the land. I'll grow it myself. Then you grow it yourself, but they want to come lock you up and find a reason to take the little land you got. That's what they do. You mm. feel me? So it got it to be at the, same, at the same point where. We gotta be in warrior mode too. It can't just be me on the internet talking about it. Like you gotta be in real warrior mode. Like we wasn't, we wasn't never slaves anyway. We didn't become slaves to a to the Emancipation Proclamation. Like it's like they try to make it seem like Abraham Lincoln signed that and freed us. No, he signed that and niggas became passive and we became slaves. Cause before that we was warring. We was gun war activity. We was every war was us versus them. Even the Civil War. You know what I'm saying? So these are all further lies. You know, as we as we lower as we fail more and more in frequency. You know what I'm saying? Because they took, we was at a mystic point. At one point, we dropped all the way down to Lemurians and Atlanteans. And then from Atlanteans, we dropped down to Egyptians, then Mississippians, then Cherokee, and Choctaw, and Sulas, and Aztecs, and Incas. And then next thing you know, now we colored people and, and, and Indians. And then mm. next thing you know, now we African Americans and Latin Americans today. Like that's, that's a powerful breakdown there, brother. That's a powerful breakdown right there, man. Damn, that's a powerful breakdown. Back though. So yeah, guy, you know, it's like we on Atlantis right now. Mm. But Africa is, is Egypt. I mean, Africa, is, you can enter Africa through Arizona. The, the Grand Canyon leads into Africa. But the fucking ancient Egypt. The Grand Canyon? What, this, what do you mean? Like a portal? You mean? No, no. It's not even a portal. You can literally just walk through the Grand Canyon and keep walking and, and, and you're going to come past a pyramid. Once you pass that pyramid, you're going to be in what they will what they call present day Africa. Damn. This is why they don't let people walk through the Grand Canyon. It's, you can only go so far. It's limited. You can't just walk through the Grand Canyon. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't want you to know that you don't have to go over the water to get to Africa. That's a lie. The map don't look like that. And you can touch any piece of land. You can be in Europe on foot. You can reach Africa on foot. You can reach anywhere on foot. We are all one landmass still connected. So, oh, so you're saying we're still one landmass. Oh, yeah. okay. Surrounded. We still one landmass connected. Oh. All the continents still connected. Are still connected. And we surrounded by one big body of water. And, and then that water is surrounded by an ice wall. That's that's what we at right now. That's And, and, that, and that ice wall is called Antarctica. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? That's, so that's how... That's how the realm look. and then you got then we got people on the other side of the ice wall and it's continents and more land they call them Lemurians and then we got another ice wall and, and more gods and goddesses on that side and they all are like us it's us it's us just like on the spaceship like and when you start seeing these spaceships and and, 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 and the gods and goddesses getting off the spaceships and you're gonna see us 
you can wait to we go like damn you thought you was gonna see some green people how about don't get me wrong we are green blue and red and different colors too but you're gonna see us you're like damn that's us are, are those, are those yeah. different ice walls the equivalent to different planets or? no it wouldn't no. be like so like okay so the ice walls are just really put there um because when they first came here we was like okay when they went to when the war broke out over our planet our ancestors was fighting with them so a lot of a lot of us are was those ancestors right because you gotta understand it's the same spirits and souls just in different vessels Mm. So this is why we are the ancestors, but that's another deeper level of it. But mm. we was born with them, and they called in the, the dark elves. The dark elves are the ones that created the sub zero technology. So this is what cold weather come from, snow, um, ice, all this stuff. We never had none of this. We are real Caribbean. You know, we we Caribbean vibe, like the whole vibe you get in the Caribbean. We tropical. We are tropical beings. You know what I'm saying? So we never had no ice, no none of that. So when they come to our planet and they start shooting, they got these big weapons and they shoot ice at us and snow at us and weapons blowing this freezing cold air on us and shit like that. Yeah, you know, they start freezing us and start they started advancing in the war just off the sub-zero technology. Like it literally was used as a weapon in the war against us. So when you're looking at the walls of Antarctica, you're looking at a lot of the bodies of our ancestors, you know what I'm saying? That was frozen, you know what I'm saying, in time, frozen in the wars. When you look at them icebergs floating through the ocean, them be bones and kneecaps and elbows. It froze and just floating like it, it, it gets so deep like like i said we was at a, we were giants at one time like we we fell so far in frequency because they took all this from us and it happened over a period of energy cycles you know what i'm saying it happened over a period of energy cycles they call it time but i'm gonna call it what it is energy cycles and we began to drop low in frequency low in frequency low in frequency you know so we we, we reached a point where we got all the way down like i say to what we are today you know but that that they had to break us down though Cause like I said, we if you look at each generation, we had more unity. You keep going back, back, back. You go like I said, you go, you go African Americans, Latinos. Keep going back. That's gonna turn to Indians. Keep going back. We're gonna be Choctaws and all that. You go back some more. We're gonna be Mississippians. You go back some more. We're gonna be Egyptians. You go back some more. Now we Atlanteans and Lemurians. You go back some more. We Anunnaki gods and goddesses. You go back some more. Now we just dark matter energy. So like that's the whole breakdown of us in the cosmos. God, you feel me? Indeed. So what will be the difference between energy cycles and time? Because you keep saying they deal with time, we deal with energy cycles. Give me an example of a, of an energy cycle uh, that we would understand. So, okay, we can measure energy cycles with the sun, right? So mm -hmm. we, can, we can go out, if you still in tune with nature, right? You could go out and look at the sun and you can be like, okay, if you're really watching the sun and how it's moving and orbiting around the planet, you can count the energy cycles off the sun. That's how we move. We, we, we went with the sun as far as the energy cycles. Now, when you talk about time, time is based around seconds, minutes, days, months, and those seconds start can start whenever, right? Mm -hmm. But the thing is, you gotta look at time like this. You really just repeating the same day. So, how many days is in a week? They tell you seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, how many days in a year? They tell you three sixty five. If it's not a leap year, mm -hmm. okay. So, it's three hundred sixty five days. I've been using this example forever because it's just a basic, simple example that you can just grab right away. What's the eighth day of the week? Name the eighth day. Okay, we got seven days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now, what's the eighth day? Couldn't, couldn't answer that. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. and, and nobody will. Mm -hmm. Nobody will. So, mm -hmm. we got seven days we know of. Mm -hmm. And we talking about it's how many days in a year again? 